I'm fighting for your generation. You've been crushed with outsourcing, offshoring, and paper notes. Living in a world with the Gender 21, the clergy plan, and TV BS. If you want people to pay what you're worth, you need to produce. Let's go on a journey and succeed in the digital realm. Hi guys, it's um, Andrew here. Just look at doing a quick video on on-page SEO. Instead of going through all the coding, I assume that you're probably well adept in the ways of SEO already. And I just wanted to bring to your attention the website Amazon.com, which I think is one of the greatest formulated sites online in terms of SEO. And if you have a look at the site, it doesn't matter what you type up the top of I type iPad bring up all the products of iPad now what I'll do is just go to the top choice there just so we can have a bit of a look now it's got plenty of images on the screen plenty of options also it has the keyword iPad in the meta title at the top if you follow my cursor also throughout the headings on the page there's iPad as well also it gives you variations of the iPad as well similar products that you might be interested in now what that does is it not only pushes the keyword iPad multiple times as you can see here and here as well pretty much in every single option there there's the keyword iPad it's not only doing that it's also giving the person greater usability by giving them greater options so if they don't particularly like this option that we've got up the top they can go to these other ones and you don't lose the customer gets into all the fine details here another great feature of Amazon and as we scroll down the page one of the greatest techniques they've got is user generated content people all over the internet have got these rules set up where you need to do a thousand words to get a page ranking what the great thing that Amazon does, they don't need to worry about that because the users that actually buy the products generate the content for them, which is absolutely fantastic because it saves having an army of writers that instead they have their customers running the content for them. Now Google loves content. The more content you have on your site, the greater the rankings normally. I don't know if any of this content is duplicate. I haven't checked it in Copyscape, but I assume that it's come from the heart of the customers, so to say. So I'm sure it is all unique. And you can see that this particular product's got some great reviews, like most of them are four or five stars. So I think that covers quite a bit what Amazon's doing. Just before I leave, I just want to go back a page because it's something I forgot to mention before that I think should be brought to your attention. Now if you have a look at the sidebar structure here it's just amazing how they've got it set up. They've got so many keywords here and say for example if you were to hit computer tablets it would bring up multiple options so you can tick certain memory capacities and brands and throughout that they've got a lot of keywords as well. Let's just go back to the home page and just see what categories I've got there. See the structure is just amazing. Digital games and software. As soon as we click that it's bringing out other keywords which are linked off there which is quite good because it's some excellent keywords there like software would actually work quite well with some of the other keywords there. Anyway you get the idea there. I think that covers most of it. I'll probably go through more details on on-page SEO I, I think just the key points to have the keyword at least once in the H1, probably once in the H2, with the H1 probably at the very start, and also with, you can sort of see Amazon sort of put a major keyword at the front, if you take Amazon, the brand name out, you've got online shopping, which would probably be one of their major keywords. You'd also want the keywords to come up a couple of times in the H3 headings as well. The density of that keyword, I think around 1 to 1.5% 1 is a good sort of target to aim for. When you set up the structure of your website, especially the side links, you don't want to just aim for your keywords, you want to have related keywords as well. Because if you just do 
keywords that look like they've got traffic behind it. What if a Google reviewer comes to your site, it may look a bit spammy. So it's good to just uh, mix it in and dumb down the optimization just a little bit because it seems to work more naturally like down to usability and you need to be a little bit more conservative when it comes to that. Anyway, I think I've covered most of it there. Until next time, speak soon. Bye.